In vitro fertilization, or IVF, brings the miracle of conception into a laboratory. It has led to the birth of nearly 10 million babies since the first successful fertilization procedure in 1978. So how does it work? Let's take a closer look. The IVF treatment process begins long before any egg removal and fertilization takes place. You'll need a thorough medical history before treatment begins, plus fertility tests and analysis for you and your partner. As the procedure gets closer, you may be prescribed birth control pills or estrogen to control the timing of your menstrual cycle and maximize the number of mature eggs available for retrieval. During a typical ovarian cycle, only one egg becomes mature enough to ovulate. IVF treatment uses injectable hormone medication to bring a group of eggs to maturity to increase the odds of a successful pregnancy. The type, dosage, and frequency of the medication will be tailored specifically to you for optimal results. Monitoring of the eggs may occur daily or every few days during this time to determine when they mature. A final trigger shot is given exactly 36 hours before the scheduled egg retrieval to finalize the maturation process. Once the eggs are mature, it's time for egg retrieval. During this step, a suction device connected to a long, thin needle is inserted through your vagina. This will puncture ovarian follicles and pull the mature eggs out. Removed eggs are placed in a Petri dish containing a special solution and then placed in an incubator for a short period of time. Since this procedure is mildly invasive, medication and sedation are used. Fertilization of the eggs takes place within a day. During a procedure known as an intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ISCI, a single sperm is introduced into each mature egg. On average, about 70% of mature eggs will successfully fertilize. Now the process of embryo development starts. Fertilized eggs are monitored and left to develop over the next several days with cells actively dividing. About half of fertilized embryos will progress to the blastocyst stage when they are suitable for transfer into a uterus. Embryos that are suitable for transfer can either be used right away or frozen for future transfer. Gender selection is done before the embryo transfer. Frozen embryos can be tested for sex through pre-implantation genetic testing, PGT. This process involves taking a small number of cells from the embryo and sending them to a genetics lab for chromosomal analysis. Within a week after fertilization, it's time to transfer the embryos. This is a short procedure that only takes about 10 minutes and feels very similar to a pelvic exam. A speculum is placed within the vagina and a thin catheter is inserted through the cervix into the uterus. An embryo or multiple embryos are then injected through the catheter into the uterus. After an embryo transfer, you may experience symptoms such as mild bloating and cramping, breast tenderness from high estrogen levels, spotting and constipation. Within 14 days after the embryo transfer, a blood test will be done to determine if you're pregnant. If the pregnancy test is positive, you begin the journey of prenatal care. Pregnancy success rates per embryo transfer vary depending on the age of the woman at the time of egg retrieval, but generally it is 40%. If the pregnancy test is negative, you can try another embryo transfer if you have additional embryos frozen from the first IVF cycle. If you do not have remaining embryos, you can try IVF again.